Hey guys, what's going on? It's Peyton, um, and I'm here with Archer uh, for the AP Sports Podcast. Um, today, the NFL draft, I guess, happened over the weekend, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, Roger Goodell, maybe not his best showing. Uh, and the Zoom chats in general were just kind of sus. I but think he yeah, had a little guess, bit too many M&Ms. Yeah, let's be, he, he looked... Uh, I mean, like, first of all, he has had so long to get these players' names right. And, like, it's not even, like, the pressure. Like, I guess maybe he felt more pressure, but there aren't a ton of people watching you, like, live or anything. And he just fumbled so many names. What what was so funny is he would, like, he was looking at that card. There was nothing (laughs) written on that card. He he was just looking at it to make it look like he was reading it. I never thought about that. And, like, I would watch his eyes every time he would, like, read somebody's name, and he'd be like, so bad all right the fifth pick in the fi- fifth round of the 2020 nfl draft he, he would look down so many he times even though there's bro. nothing he on was there. struggling to say the least i don't know what they gave him but damn he was out of it whatever it was it didn't help it hurt <laughs> no, it didn't. Um, speaking of hurt some uh some relationships in the nfl may be hurt after some picks i want to talk about the packers how do we think aaron Rodgers is going to re- kind of react to the first round pick of uh jordan love I think he that? I think he feels like he was out of the, like I just feel like I would in my opinion I feel like Aaron Rodgers feels left out and kind of like wow they really just drafted a quarterback yeah. out of nowhere that's, exactly that's how Brett Favre felt exactly. yeah what I would say though is that Aaron Rodgers there's no owner for the Packers right he thinks he's the head guy there's no yeah. owner it's like a group of it's like a private it's like, a board it, it's a group basically and so he thinks at this point he's making the most money and like he's the guy in Green Bay. They didn't help him at all. They drafted another quarterback. He doesn't feel in the loop. He, they didn't draft a single receiver either. So the pa- I don't know what the Packers are thinking, like in the slightest this draft. Um, but that's just I don't know. It's weird. I think Aaron Rodgers is the type of guy that would get hurt about this and threaten to leave, request a trade, something like that. And he's one of those guys in the NFL that if he requests a trade, like you kind of have to trade him. Yeah. You can't just say, no, we're not going to trade you. And it's almost disrespectful and the owner right to, even after drafting a quarterback, not draft any wide receiver. Like, I don't know if they have some big free agent acquisition they're looking for or what. But this is this... even after they made it to the NFC championship game. Like, granted, yeah. they, got, they got waxed, but like they made they're it. A, they they're are a, a couple contender. pieces away from a Super Bowl and they just decide to, you know what, we're going to draft a quarterback. I don't but, know. I have I have a, a thing about Jordan Love. He really? fell pretty far. Like 26th pick as the top five prospect, and there were a lot of needy QB teams. And I think that uh, the coach of the Packers, Matt LaFleur, kind of put a word in and was like, I really like this Jordan Love guy. If he falls to us, we should draft him. And uh, really? all, the, all the stuff I've heard about him is that he's really a developmental kind of guy. He's somebody that's going to take a couple years, and I think yeah, they're going to let sense. him sit behind Rodgers for two to three, maybe four years, learn learn what it's like to be a Packer, learn what it's like to be behind one of the best in the league, and then maybe potentially he could be the guy that takes it away from Rodgers. Uh, we'll it's, see. It's, I mean, I, I think for Rodgers, though, I don't know if he plays as well when, there's like, when he's stubborn and kind of controversial, he doesn't play as well. Um, yeah, and I will say, Jordan Love, uh, his sophomore year looked a lot better than his junior year. His sophomore year, he threw 32 touchdowns, six interceptions, which is incredible. This last year, he threw 20 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Yeah, there, and so, there's a lot to do with the stats, but I I'm think not sure. that I, he I definitely test. has potential if he threw for 32 touchdowns. Like, that's very impressive. That's very yeah. good. Um. Just this last season, I actually struggled a little bit. Maybe that's why he fell. I don't watch enough Utah State to know, obviously. <laughs> that's true. And but, you don't uh, exactly know the competition he's playing either. But, but still, I'm looking the, at the eye stats test and it does look very like important he can, I just haven't watched him play. I think yeah. it's kind of the main issue. But I I don't see this going down well with Aaron Rodgers. Um, Me either. This is kind of a uh, – this is a battle of like – inner personalities and what yeah. they didn't think about how he was going to react to it really they just I think thought they did. I, I think they're in love. kind of i feel like matt lafleur almost i know they're trying to be friends and everything but i feel like he's trying to say i'm the lead guy yeah in a way like, like this you, is you, like you don't control dog. it anymore it's Moment. me yeah 
Um, yeah. And one other thing, I guess, you could add to that is just Aaron Rodgers in general. Like, I'm, he's, of course, still a great quarterback. But this last season, he did not look as good as he had in previous years. He overthrew some guys. And I feel like – I mean, you can blame the receivers on some of this stuff, but some of it was just bad throws. Yeah. Um, and he does have Devontae Adams. I understand Devontae Adams was hurt for a little bit this year. and That kind of contributed. But he's also got a great run game. And I, I don't know. That was another weird thing. The uh, Packers in the second round drafted a running back. Yeah, AJ um, And they've got Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams, who they clearly trust – I don't they, know what to there's a lot of Aaron Jones. I feel like there's a lack of trust with him for some reason because he produces super well, but Jamal he does, Williams but still plays. I think that Jamal Williams is talented too. I think they're both pretty talented guys. I do think Aaron Jones has the edge, but I don't think, I think they want to cut Jones. Jamal out completely because he is really talented. But well, I mean, if I they want to commit to a running back, they should consider trading Jamal. I don't know. You're right. I don't know why they draft a running back. I don't think they need to split the carries, though. Like, play both of them, but yeah. don't split the carries. Because, like, Aaron Jones was, like, a fifth or sixth-round guy at a Toledo. So it's like you clearly have a good guy that you got at a good value. Why do you need to go get another guy for a higher value that probably won't even be as good? That's true. Um, and I didn't watch A.J. Dillon, so I can't speak on how good he is. But I, I'm going to imagine right now that Aaron Jones is probably better. He's playing against the best people in the world and putting up. 100 yard games when he gets yeah, the ball. Yeah, Aaron Jones has slept on a lot. He is a he's a top 15 back. He plays really well. He it seems like he clicks with Rodgers too. There's a lot yeah, of connection so. going on in that sort of uh locker That's room. Good. I just I, I like Aaron Jones. Good. I think he's talented, so. Yeah. I did too. I wasn't impressed with the Packers at all this draft. And they got offensive line help, which I guess is good, but their O-line was pretty good last year until they played the Niners. Yeah. Um, kind of yeah. got destroyed well the Niners were a, the Niners I, I think they were a really so good, good team in general last year but yeah. Uh, yeah the Packers the Packers were and are still are very close to a Super Bowl appearance but uh we'll just have to see what they do with the situation this is a really really weird thing to do at this t- time like you're that close and you decide to draft a quarterback but like I said maybe Matt LaFleur thought this is a once in a generation guy that in his opinion has the potential to be a, a great, so we'll have to see. I mean, even then, what if he's just trying to win over Aaron Rodgers? Not even win over, but just like assert yeah. his dominance over. It. Maybe Aaron was running the team a little too much last year, and maybe he thinks that's why they lost in the playoffs. And there are too many audibles. We don't know the whole yeah. story, but I guess that's what we're trying to figure out by talking. Well, about. I think that that might be a reason, but I do not think that using your twenty sixth overall pick in the draft is a good way to go about that. I don't so. either. All right. Do you want to move on to another topic? Uh, yeah, we can let's talk about, talk about more quarterbacks. What about the Saints? What do we think about them? They've got, uh, dude. I'm so I mean, we're, we're both Saints guys. I got the hoodie on right now, but I, I liked Teddy last year. Honestly, I uh, love Teddy, bro. Teddy. I would not have been mad if we kept him, but no, I would Instead, been. and I love Taysom too, but I don't think he's a starting quarterback. I think the dad, I would have just been. Um, although he did come out and say he was going to be a starter in you know, a franchise guy someday. But Jameis, but the Saints just signed Jameis. I think Jameis has a ton of potential. And I think I, – I honestly really like Jameis. Um, maybe not the crab leg stuff, but I feel like he gets a lot of hate that he doesn't really deserve. I don't uh... – The 30 interceptions aren't great. Obviously, they're actually terrible. But with that being said, I feel like he was in an offense that almost gave him too much freedom allowed him to throw the ball deep yeah, too that's often. True. Um, and Especially never with those either. two guys. They, they, didn't Mike Evans and game, Godwin. they didn't have a screen game. So I feel like in New Orleans, the passing game is going to open up a lot for him. And he's going to be able to have more leads. He's going to be able to slow the game down. He doesn't have to throw the ball deep every time. And I think those interception numbers are going to come down. And the consistency is going to go up. Um, I don't think that there's a big – issue with Jameis as long as Sean Payton and Drew Brees kind of mentor him in slow. Yeah. That's one thing I want to talk about. Uh, I think that him being in the same QB room as Drew Brees, one of the all-time greats, is going yeah. – like he's never had that sort of a presence in his entire five-year NFL career. He's never had somebody in the QB room that has more experience, has had a better career. I mean, think about it. Tampa Bay, what have they done to help Jameis Winston? I don't think he's had an all-time great in Tampa, and he's had issues with – I know they've stuck with him to a degree at least, but I feel like him and Bruce Arians kind of had a little rift. 
maybe he was trying to prove himself. Um, and I guess he thought he did, but a backup role for him, I honestly think it's going to be a good thing, especially behind Drew Brees. It's going to be humbling a little bit, I think, because he, mm-hmm. he's literally he said in multiple talking. interviews yeah, that he, he's, he thinks he's the yeah. best in the NFL. Like Some of the things he says, I, I, in my opinion, like you said, you like Jameis. I am on the other end. I'm kind of in the middle. Like I don't love him. I don't like his personality. Uh, he's had a lot of off the – not a lot, but he's got a couple off the field, not just the crab legs. I mean – he had a big uber sexual assault scandal, rape stuff. I don't think that that was – I think it was just like a verbal assault more than – I mean, maybe. I don't know the whole detail. He just does not seem like a really – all. I, he doesn't seem all there, and he doesn't seem like a great guy, but I'm not going to make that assumption I think he needs to be off of a couple a interviews. Bit, and that's yeah. why Breeze is going to help him. But that's not the Breeze only will quarterback help lot, that the Saints have dealt with this offseason. So they re-signed Taysom for two more years. <laughs> Um, and they put a first-round tender on him, which means that he was basically going to be ours, or else someone had to give out their first pick to us. There was a All bit right. of an interruption in the uh, in the stream, but we'll continue, Peyton. Um, so yeah, I think Taysom Hill. Um, we re-signed him for two years, twenty-one million dollars. I like Taysom Hill, but I don't know if we need Jameis and Taysom. Well, don't I forget feel like about we needed a backup quarterback, but that's why we traded up towards the end of the second round or seventh round my bad um and drafted uh the mississippi state quarterback who ran the fastest 40 out of all the quarterbacks and he's basically and he's six he's foot Hill. five he's a big he's, boy and i he's feel fast. like it's almost like the saints are trying to mentor another Taysom hill under Taysom hill and they're trying to mentor well i'm not gonna say another drew Brees because that's hard to do but another starting quarterback under drew Brees. I think so that Drew Brees – on the roster. This is Drew Brees' last season, I think, and I'm pretty sure that's apparent to everybody. This is Drew Brees' last season, and I'd yeah, love to see just, him get a ring. But I think, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to get three quarterbacks, and they're trying to use Drew Brees – not use him in an object sense, but they're trying to use his talent, his expertise, and really get these guys to understand why Drew Brees is who he is and why he's so good. Yeah, and they're they're using this time to mentor more people, and I really wish we still had Teddy. That really hurts me because I think he's he was really good, and he had still sat behind know. Drew Brees for eight years. But yeah. you you can't look at the past like that. And uh, I think what we're doing is smart. Although I think we were a little happy with Taysom. That was a pretty big contract yeah. for a year. So two years, twenty one, I think. Well, Total. it's sixteen million guaranteed. Uh, so okay. that that's a lot of money Guaranteed. for somebody that we're using as a little gadget. But uh, I mean, Sh- Sean has said in the past he thinks Taysom has starting caliber talent. He said that he's he sees Steve Young in him, yeah. which is hard to. We don't have a really big sample size of his quarterbacking, so I'm not. I don't like making a judgment off of seven completed passes. I would say that's true, but I've only watched one preseason game preseason game where he played the whole game and it was against the Chargers and I think he threw like two picks and he just did not look very comfortable throwing the ball but with that being said he also didn't run the ball very often so maybe that game was just more geared toward him getting used to throwing yeah maybe that maybe um, the Sean Payton was like all right again, throw the ball quit game. running that again is just one game um yeah. so I don't know Drew Brees has bad games he's it a happens. pretty big question mark um yeah the playoffs um, so I think he's a every playoff game he's mark. ever played. And then the guy that they drafted, I actually really like out of Mississippi State because he's not going to cost a lot. And I, I mean, if he's anything like Taysom Hill in the future for cheaper, I don't that's see why great. that's an issue. Yeah. Um, and he's big and can take a hit, so I'm All happy right. with that pick. I think that this whole uh, thing with quarterbacks and the Saints is is really geared on this is Drew Brees' last season, and yeah. we want to make it count. We want to make sure we have something for the future. I do wish, honestly, like, uh, I love Caesar, and mm-hmm. I, I think he's a great – that was the Saints' first-round pick. Yes. But if you are thinking about, like, developing somebody under Drew Brees like they are, I mean, pick a quarterback in the first round. I don't know. Jordan Love was still on the board. Uh, Actually, there were a couple of big guys. No. Oh, he wasn't? I think the Packers – no, maybe he was because the Packers were 26, right? Didn't they trade up to get him? Maybe okay. hold up. Aren't the Saints like 28 or 29? Let me let me check. Hold I up. might be wrong. I think you actually might be. Yeah, no, he got picked after. 
New Orleans really? 24, Green Bay 26. Dang. Yeah, well, like yeah, that's somebody pick. Yeah. That's somebody that I think the Saints could have maybe turned into – like he's a developmental really? guy that could really use a year behind Drew Brees. Who knows? You know, I think the Saints have gone that route a couple times. They drafted Garrett Grayson in like second or third round one time out of Oregon State, and that just – he wasn't even good enough to be a third out. string. So I think they're a little skeptical, timid about drafting quarterbacks um, after how that turned out, but I wouldn't see them, I guess, missing on it. Uh, if they got, he was going to fit in with Saints. Um, even though there was a quarterback on the board, Jordan Love, and we just signed all these guys. Um, I think Caesar's still going to be a good pick. He seems like a pretty good guy. Um, went to Michigan, so I guess if he went to the class, like he's got to be kind yeah. of smart at least. I, like, a I just, I don't, I, um, I don't know. It, it just, I, it's a, it's about uh, circumstance and what's worked yeah. in the past, and especially like Sean Payton. He know I he's a pretty aware guy. He knows what he's doing, and maybe he was like, he's been looking at Jameis all these years, and like there's yeah. so much talent there. But he just we just need to fix the decision making, and maybe he's got once a, he got the shot, he was like, all right, let's get him. I'm ready to change his ways. So yeah, maybe, and I would say maybe Saints, we'll get a five thousand yard thirty yeah, touchdown, hopefully. no interceptions, no interceptions. Yeah, um, but I would say the Saints in general, um, they do great about getting offense linemen, whether it was Jari Evans. Uh, Taron Armstead, just all these guys that they have. Yeah. Um, they do a pretty good job about that. Ryan Ramchick. Quarterback. Yep, great job on him, too. Andrews Pete hasn't panned out quite as much, but he's also had injuries. Right. Um, but I would say this is a great pick because Larry Warford, uh, he's going to be up for a pretty big contract. He was a pro bowler last year. Um, so it's going to be tough to replace, I guess. But I think if anyone can, it's he, he was called like one of the better interior guards and the best center. And yeah. So this year, what I think – will happen is so last year we kind of experienced a lot of injuries on the offensive line there are injuries like that again I think you'll step in for really just any interior position that gets hurt um and that's the center to Eric McCoy if we draft him in the first or second last year no it was first round that was the Saints pick last year we were at the draft because it was in Nashville and I remember that pick so um and so I I think that you know it's good pick safe pick uh I I'd say for the future Offensive lineman never. Hurt. Offensive lineman never a bad thing to pick. It's just I'm a little confused with the whole quarter. Like today, just yeah. was a little bit of a weird thing to see. Okay, cool same. Jameis. Like Jameis, we got Taysom, and then we dra- we traded in for a quarterback. It's just it's a weird circumstance. I- I'm excited to see what happens. It'll be something to wa- definitely watch. I agree. Uh, and I hope that Sean can change James to a better quarterback and I think he can he's a he's a really talented coach and James is a really talented player so we'll just see what happens from there